Hi everyone. Um, the piece I chose to analyze is The Portrait of Felix Fenneon by Paul Signac. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not really sure. But Paul Signac was a French post-impressionist and helped develop his pointillist style. Um, for a little bit on the background of Mr. Signac, uh, he was born in November of 1963 and died in 1935 of August. Uh, he worked with George, maybe I'm saying that right, uh, Surat, who helped develop his style. Signac was born in Paris and was en route to becoming an architect until he was 18, and when he was 18, he decided to pursue a career in, as a painter, which obviously he succeeded in eventually. <laughs> um, he traveled around Europe, sailing, trekking, land, and so on. Uh, he painted a variety of scenes, such as landscapes, ocean scenes, and more abstract scenes, such as the painting I chose. So, Signac, after meeting the influential Influential painters such as Claude Monet and Georges Seurat, he decided to experiment with, instead of the short brush strokes of Impressionism, teeny tiny dots of pure color juxtaposed to portray a scene or a picture. Signac used a variety of different mediums to work with. He used oil paints, watercolors, and he made etchings, lithographs, and also used pen and ink sketches. Some other well-known paintings by him that you might like, or I do at least, um, are The Port of St. Tropez or Bonaventure Pine. As for the piece I chose, it's called Portrait of Felix Fenion, although I think it has a much longer name to it than that. Um, this piece was composed in 1890 and now resides in the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. Um, it's oil on canvas and is 29 by 36.5 inches in size. The man in this painting is based on Fenion, who was a friend of Signac, who was an art dealer, collector, curator, political activist, and critic. In this painting, Signac portrays the enigmatic and unconventional personality of Fenion. Signac uses contrast of ideas as well as color in this piece by setting Fenion static, his static profile against the chaotic swirling background. The contrast between the bright and saturated background and the well-dressed Fenion shows a contrast perhaps the put-together man who has a world of imagination in his mind and as he was so involved in arts in his life. In the background of this painting, many of the swirls are contrasted with opposite colors. For example, there are red and green in one swirl, black and white in another, and so on. The, the man is seen with a nearly indifferent look on his face, a flower in one hand and a top hat and cane in the other. This shows remnants of natural or perhaps the old world, while there is still a very abstract seeming background. There is hardly any perspective to the picture other than the shadows in the man's attire and perhaps the feeling that the swirling background tunnels backwards infinitesimally. However, there is no atmospheric perspective as the same amount of detail can be seen throughout the entire piece. This painting demonstrates almost perfectly the junction between Impressionism and an abstract like art. Well, I think that's about it for me. I hope you enjoyed my formal visual analysis and seeing a little bit of my messy room. Thanks.